Okay, hello everyone. I'm gonna make this a short video. Uh, what I want to show is Grasshopper uh, starting up for the first time using SSL. The reason why I want to do this is to show you the step that gets you past the um, uh, dangerous server part of the uh, startup. So what I'm going to do here is hop into Reclaim Cloud. Uh, sorry about the bouncing around here. And where did it go? <laughs> here we go. Okay, so Reclaim Cloud. So we're using this engine here, Docker Engine CE, which I got from the marketplace right here. Whoops, come on, right here. Um, so I'm using that. I've already installed that. I've already cloned the uh, Grasshopper code into this environment. Uh, and I've run a startup and stop, um, and you can see me stopping it and removing it. That's all in the interest of speed. Um, so I'm going to start with the uh, the uh, build command. Now again, I've previously built this, so it's going to zip right through. And uh, so there it is, Docker build. Uh, you can see it at the bottom there. Uh, Docker build hyphen hyphen tag grasshopper space dot okay so normally this step takes quite a while because it needs to download and all that all that stuff now I'm going to run this image that I've just built so uh, I don't have the detach tag on here so um, it's just going to keep running in this uh, terminal. I don't care. Uh, I also don't have volumes on here. That's something for a later step. So what's important here is the uh, publish 8080, which is the uh, non-secure HTTP version, and then publish 443 to 443. That's the C secure socket loads. That's the secure version or HTTPS version. So I'm going to run this command. <clears throat> you can find both of these commands on the GitHub site for Grasshopper. Um, and uh, the GitHub site I'll put in the description of this video. Or you can just look it up, GRSS Hopper. So I'm running this command. So there we go. The image is running it's based on the downs lamp image originally and now this is the uh, the actual grasshopper image that's all i need to do in here so now let me go to the uh the website uh again reclaim is really nice you can just uh click on open in browser here um and and that does what it says right so open in browser and this is the startup screen that you see. Uh, it's not perfect, but it's pretty much set. Uh, so the first thing you do is you run the, um, the uh, test script and create the new admin user. So you click on server test and it checks all the Perl modules are there, test the database, and then gives you a little interface to create your admin profile. Um, I'm just going to type admin and admin. Don't do that if uh, if you want to be kind of secure. Although you know, mostly it won't matter. But but you know, pick something better. So I'm going to click create an admin profile. So it creates the profile. Now you can log in. And I'm going to log in with the profile I just created. Admin. Admin. Now you notice I'm not running on the secure site at the moment. That's fine. Okay. So I'm going to log in. Okay. So now once you've logged in, try out your new personal learning environment. So click on this link. It's also the same link that was on the start page. So I'm going to click on this. So again, I'm still not in HTTPS. And the reason why this is important is because this web page interacts with the back end. 
the server side of Grasshopper. The server side does a whole bunch of functions like it runs a harvester, it runs the page creation of publishing, etc. Uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and you want to be able to interface with it to control it and to use the data. So I'm going to type HTTPS, right? colon slash slash in front of this this url is automatically generated by reclaim.cloud so i'm going to hit that hit enter and now i'm in https um and i'm realizing that it should have shown me uh well let's run it in chrome and i'll, I'll show you what you're likely to encounter so let me copy this address now, I haven't opened this in Chrome before. So, here we go. So, I'm going to hit the HTTPS address. And it's going to say, your connection is not private. It's not secure, right? And the reason why it's not secure is it's using a generic, uh, a generic certificate. Um, and uh, you know self-signed right and it's so self-signed I haven't even bothered to set the parameters so if you encounter this on out there on the web you should be careful because you can't trust the people who created the website but here you created the website so it should be fine so you're gonna step through that works the same on Firefox you click on advanced right and then see it can't prove that it is this click on that and it'll take you in um, now it's gonna say not secure it's gonna warn you that it's not secure but it should work so let's go to the Firefox version and you can test whether it's working by click make and then list page and this is the list of all of the pages that come preloaded with Grasshopper. Um, quite a few. Too many. Um, but no, this is right. It's got the Grasshopper about and the, how to create a MySQL database. And we can see these pages. This is the editing screen for it. We can see the preview. Now we would have to actually create the page. Okay, so the I don't have the redirect working yet. No, it's not perfect, right? It's not perfect. Um, but uh, let's come back here to the page. Let's publish this page. There's the page. There's the address. And now I'll click on that. And there's the... Uh, the instructions lots of instructions inside grasshopper mostly current not 100 percent but mostly current some of the things like that redirect thing isn't in there yet so and we'll, we should see the same in chrome right make oh he must be oh, i haven't logged in here yet <laughs> so let's log in ADMIN, ADMIN, totally stupid login address. I'll be killing this site after I make this video. Um, okay, and now I'm going to reload this page. Okay, so now I'm logged in. Make list page. Let's make a different page. We're on the exact same site, right? So the pages, the page that I made over here in in uh, Firefox is still made over here in Chrome um, here oh, that's not it that's a previous attempt that failed uh, I forget where I put it uh, let's just close that oh there it is okay so uh, I'll show you that so now I'm in Chrome here's the address of the page that I created I'll click enter see there it is so in Chrome I'll publish a new page so make list page uh, what page do I want to post 
grasshopper about. So I clicked on grasshopper about, page, publish page. It might seem awkward to do it this way, but you know, now I'm publishing basically a static HTML file. And there it is, right? A static HTML file. And uh, that way it's a lot faster for uh, users of the website. So anyhow, that's all I wanted to show with this video. Uh, you're now up and running with Grasshopper. You can do things. I'm still fixing things, making things work properly in the online environment. But you can, at a minimum, test out the page creation, the post creation functions, things like that. Um, and I'll talk later on about harvesting feeds, setting up cron tasks, redirects, and all of that. But this is the thing that gets you started. That's it for the video. Short and sweet, right? Short and sweet. Um, and I'm going to stop it now. I'm Stephen Nouns.